The third lung ultrasound imaging protocol that we're going to use is one that we traditionally use when we're concerned that a patient may have pneumonia. In this one, also known as the Lichtenstein protocol, we're going to image the anterior chest, the lateral chest, and then the posterior chest. We're going to do this by drawing a line at the anterior axillary line, another one at the posterior axillary line, and then we're going to image the lung all the way from superior to inferior along each of these zones. So we're going to start the probe uh, at the superior anterior portion of the chest wall, imaging down through the lung, move laterally, starting superiorly and moving inferiorly, and then in the posterior area, just beyond the posterior axillary line, we're also going to image superiorly to inferiorly. In this imaging protocol, we're likely going to need to roll the patient onto their side so that we can get beyond the scapula at the superior side and image down the chest into the inferior portion of the lung. For lung ultrasound imaging protocol number three, or the anterior lateral posterior protocol, otherwise known as Lichtenstein's approach or protocol, we're going to look at the anterior lateral and posterior chests. To do this, we're going to stick the transducer in the anterior portion of the chest, similar to zone one, but we're going to drag all the way down and investigate this entire area for any evidence of B lines. Next, we're going to move into the lateral portion, which is between the anterior axillary line and the posterior axillary line. And again, we're going to image throughout this zone, looking for any evidence of B lines. Finally, we're going to image the posterior zone. In order to do this, we're going to need to roll the patient up onto their side, and we're going to place the transducer just above the scapula between the scapula and the spine, and we're going to image the posterior chest in several different areas, all the way down until we can identify the diaphragm. Again, looking for any evidence of beelines.